Are you a fan of the arts or just interested in learning more? Well, we have a show for you tonight. Stay tuned to Connecting Our Community, coming up next. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Connecting Our Community. I'm Karen Allen. Tonight's guest, very exciting and unique, Ariana Ross. She is the founder and creator of Story Tapestries. Actually, Ariana, you look like a tapestry. You are dressed in tapestry, so it really fits. Thank you. Thank you for coming. When I first came up with that name, it, I always found that people tried to pinpoint me as an artist. Oh, you're a storyteller. That means you don't dance. That means you don't play music. That means you're not a photographer. And I'd say, no, part of the joy of being a storyteller is that I'm able to weave all of those art forms together in order to help teach, in order to help educate, in order to create my performances. So when we transformed my organization, which was originally a me, myself, and I, doing my thing in the school systems, working with community groups, when we transformed it into a not-for-profit, we decided to keep the name Story Tapestries because we bring in artists from all walks of life. Uh, we have an artist who was just recently in Louisiana, a beatbox artist named Max Bent. He was down in Louisiana working with a middle school, teaching math through beatbox work. Wow. I, this morning, was in, uh, and in many mornings, I am in schools working with teachers, teaching math, English, science, social studies. These days, everyone talks about the Common Core standards, but a lot of the teachers are unsure of how to approach Common Core. And what my job is, I offer them tools to help them find an effective, sometimes easier way into Common Core so that when they're done teaching, the kids are excited, they're empowered to want to read, to want to write. If we don't empower our kids starting in pre-K, what happens is by the time they get to high school, they're not interested in learning. How true is that? That and is true in my health. <laughs> but that, you're a performance artist then, which I, I like, because you, you said you do many things. You're not just a rock on tour, you're a performer as well. Right. So you're a performance artist. And then are you also a certified teacher? Do you have to be certified or just a teacher that, or someone that's picked up teaching things along the way and combined it all? I am not a certified teacher. However, all of our artists that work with us, and we're very clear, we vet, I mean, we vet very carefully, have had training. I have had training through the Kennedy Center. I've had training through Wolf Trap. Um, so you're and, educators. Yes, we're all educators. Um, a long, 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 long time ago, in the jungle of India, there lived a turtle and a fox. They were best friends. One day, the fox was waiting for his best friend underneath a gigantic tree. He was playing his favorite instrument, the kalimba, a thumb piano. The turtle was very, 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 very late. By the time the turtle showed up, she was so excited, she could barely get a word out. Hey, hey, I've had the time to have to have to tell you. It's really when I've had to Okay, said the fox. I need you to slow down. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Okay, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is, is Diwali, and that's the Festival of Lights. So we have to have a big, big, big party. Okay, if we're going to have a party, who are we going to invite to the party? They thought about it, and thought about it, and thought about it, and then they decided they would invite the monkeys, the elephants, definitely the birds, and of course, the alligators. But when it came time to invite the tigers, the turtle said, absolutely, absolutely, no, 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 no tigers. Uh -oh. What the turtle and the fox didn't know was that hiding behind a great big tall tree was a huge tiger. And when he heard he wasn't going to be invited to the party, he did what tigers do best. 
he began to cry. <laughs> and then he did what tigers are more famous for. He let out a great big loud roar, which of course caused the fox to take off running. But the turtle, she couldn't run fast enough, so she did what turtles have to do. She hid underneath her shell. The tiger walked over and he picked the turtle up and he began to shake and shake and shake. The turtle, she was terrified. Meanwhile, her best friend, the fox, was thinking and thinking and thinking and then suddenly had an idea. Listen, uh, tiger, if you want to eat the turtle, um, you have to know the turtle's secret. The fox wasn't really going to tell the turtle's secret. Listen, uh, tiger, if you want to eat the turtle, you have to put the turtle in water and then her shell will become soft. Now everybody knows this isn't true. If you put a turtle in water, they'll swim very fast. But the tiger was so mad he forgot to think. He picked that turtle up, and on the count of three, one, two, three, he threw the turtle into the water, and immediately she began to swim away. The fox, of course, ran away, and the tiger was left all by himself. One hour later, the turtle came back. Okay, 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 all right, all right, all right, said the turtle. You can come to the party, tiger, on one condition. You have to promise not to roar. When you roar, you scare me. Okay, said the tiger. I promise no roaring. Oh, the next day they had the party. All the animals came. The monkeys, the elephants, the birds, the alligators, of course, the tigers the turtles, and the fox. Some say that when the sun was rising in the morning, after lots of dancing and eating, that they saw the turtle and the tiger dancing right next to each other. And that, my friends, take your hands together like this, brings the story to a close.